Piggy, step back. You should never mess with a scorpion. Let me explain that by answering a stingy question. What if a deadly scorpion stings you? Zoom in! Scorpions are part of the arachnid lineage, sharing a family tree with their tick, mite and spider cousins. With around 2,000 species scuttling around the globe, Scorpions come in all shapes and sizes. On the tiny side, there's the Diphlogectus micheli, which could easily hide in a 9mm teaspoon. On the other end of the spectrum is the mighty Emperor Scorpion, stretching up to 21 centimeters long, big enough to need a pretty large shoe to hide under. But no matter their size, every scorpion has a powerful weapon, a venomous stinger at the end of their tail. Their stinger is made up of two parts, the telson, which houses the venom glands, and their aculeus, a sharp, hardened needle they use to inject venom into their prey, or any foe brave enough to cross their path. Hence the question arises, what happens if that foe happens to be a human? Well, when a scorpion stings, its stinger pierces the skin and acts like a syringe, injecting venom through a small opening at the tip of the stinger. The amount of venom depends on the size of the scorpion, its species and how threatened it feels. Once inside the skin, the venom starts spreading quickly. Scorpion venom is a neurotoxin, which means it targets the nervous system and disrupts the normal flow of signals between nerves, causing them to either fire uncontrollably or stop firing altogether. This disruption can lead to symptoms like pain, tingling, numbness, muscle spasm, and in severe cases, even paralysis. As the venom spreads through the surrounding tissues and into the bloodstream, it's carried throughout the body. This is why symptoms can pop up in places far from the original sting site. The venom can also trigger an increase in heart rate as the body reacts to the stress. In some cases, blood pressure may drop, leading to dizziness or fainting. Fortunately, when the body senses anything unusual, the immune system kicks into gear and sends white blood cells to the sting site to attack and neutralize the venom. This immune response can cause inflammation, which is why the area might become red, swollen and warm. Simultaneously, the liver and kidneys also jump into action, working to detoxify the venom as it circulates through the body. Over time, the body breaks down the venom molecules and the symptoms gradually fade. Luckily, most scorpion stings aren't lethal and only cause pain and discomfort, which typically resolve within a few hours to a few days. However, if the sting comes from a highly venomous scorpion, like the Indian red scorpion, bark scorpion or the dead stalker, it's important to stay calm at first and take a picture of the offender then immediately wash the sting area with soap and water. After this, apply a cool compress or ice pack and keep the affected area raised and still to slow the venom speed. Next, without delay, head to the hospital where doctors can look at the picture you provided and administer anti-venom, a special medicine that neutralizes the scorpion's toxins. With the right care and the right time, 
Even the most dangerous things can be treated effectively. Trivia time! Did you know scorpions were around long before the first dinosaurs? Also, fluorescent chemicals in their hairline layer cause scorpions to glow under ultraviolet light. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Advait Akhil. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ouch! Never mind.